Just getting a moment here to uh, <laughs> calm down. I always get quite emotional about this, regardless of the fact that we've actually <laughs> done all this together. Thank you very much for being here. We're delighted to be invited. Uh, I think this is not just a conference. It's actually a meeting of, of, of people that uh, have a vision. Uh, they want to take action. And I think we can only do this together. I want to thank personally on behalf of Hellenic Hope, the Reload team, because you guys have done an excellent job, and thank you so much for putting this together. I think it's time to congratulate them yet again. Thank you so much. I'm going to spend the next uh, 12 moments, 12 minutes, um, to convey to you who we are at Hellenic Hope, what we do, what are the opportunities that we see back home in Greece, the impact that we've had and how we reach out to people, where we're going with Hellenic Hope, and I want to leave you with three messages on behalf of my co-workers at Hellenic Hope. So who we are? We are not a charity. We are a social impact investor registered in the UK, and we're regulated by the UK Charities Commission. We support children that have been affected by the crisis in Greece. We do that by partnering with select NGOs that are dedicated to the well-being of children. We focus on subsistence, which is food, which is uh, medical needs, effectively, which is dignity. And we focus on livelihood, which is skills, which is education, which is vocational assistance. 
We were registered in 2013, January, so we started in 1st of July 2012, so effectively we're two years old. I want to share with you, you've heard it already before, but I want to share with you what we have come across in Greece. Let me leave with you some tangible statistics. Number one, one in three children right now in Greece live below the poverty line. One in three children in Greece right now go hungry every day. One in three children in Greece right now are so socially marginalized or socially excluded. As we heard, two out of three children between, between the age of 15 to 24 are unemployed. I don't want to even go to, to, to the point about fresh milk being a luxury good in Greece right now. We're going back to post-World War II situation here. This is the backdrop. The crisis is serious. The opportunities are immense. This is what we're focusing at Hellenic Hope. And this is what we invite each and every one of you today to focus on as well. There, are, there is a wealth of opportunities in Greece right now. We really need to focus on that. So I mentioned that we work through select NGOs in Greece. Let me mention the six NGOs that we work with right now. We work with Schedia, which is based in Elefsina. It's an after-school support center. What we did last, uh, last year for them is uh, support half a year of their operations. In 2014, we're doing the same thing. Second NGO, Kedro Agapis Elefsina. It's another after-school support center. We built a kitchen unit for them last year. This year, we are uh, helping them to employ the services of an educational therapist, a pedagogos, as we call it in Greek. Ena Pedienas Cosmos, that's the third NGO. It's um, a center that, that embraces the families and children that have been plighted by the crisis. We built another kitchen unit for them. Kitchen unit is not, oh, these poor people don't have food to eat, let's build a kitchen unit for them. No, it is a social center for people to preserve the dignity, eat, and, and get empowered together. Let's, bear, let's, let's make that very clear. NGO number four, Ifili to Pedhu. It is an umbrella of, of um, activities, really, that embrace children. They have a kindergarten. What we do there is we support Ifili uh, to Pedhu with um, medical, uh, medical support. Uh, NGO number five, we started out in 2014 with them, uh, Idrima Mimikopoulou. It is another umbrella that, that, that uh, embraces families and children. And number six, Pedike Steges, which is effectively a kindergarten. What do these people, what do these NGOs have in common? Number one, they're open. Number two, they're transparent. Number three, and very, very important, they're ch absolutely focused on the well-being of children, not to be taken for granted. They are run by dedicated professionals. They are what we call in, uh, is, is the SME, in the SME part of, of the NGO ecosystem in Greece. What we do is to help them survive, cope, and prosper. What we decided two years ago to focus on, and, and really was the reason for us coming together at Helen Cope, is the following. Number one, we do extensive due diligence in order to partner up with these NGOs. We don't just donate, we partner up with these NGOs. We use the same due diligence criteria that the business world, the for-profit world uses. This is very, very important. Number two, we monitor our investments very, very closely. We aim at 100% penetration of the social investments that we make. We're extremely vigilant with our costs. 100% of donations go to children's benefit. We promote new initiatives and new talent that will achieve the combined um, 
focus of subsistence and livelihood. It's not either or, it's both. We are very, very focused on staying very professional. We all have daily professional lives. We cross-pollinate this professionalism into Helen Cope, into the NGOs that we partner up with, and we maximize the benefit of the children. Our team is based out of London. What we do is we spread the word, we get people engaged, we, get, we call people into action. Athens is where our operations are based. We have a very dedicated team of two trustees and five uh, volunteers, and what we do is we have weekly uh, contact with our NGOs, um, numerous uh, visits throughout the month, and what we do is we really partner up to, to, build, this, um, to build this business together. We have, because we take credibility so seriously, we have actually got a dedicated compliance officer. He's based out of Lausanne. There is no limit and there is no further challenge to, to what credibility has, has presented so far. We should all take this very seriously in for-profit, non-profit. Sharing with you our impact. In the last one and a half years of operation, we've managed to touch the lives of 550 children. 22 families with children. We've managed to instill best practices to these six NGOs that we're partnering up with. This is very, very important for us. We've managed to raise in 2013 225,000 pounds. What does that mean? We've managed to touch the interest of the worth of 225,000 pounds of people. Um, we've engaged, we've got donations of, from four corporates, we've worked with four associations, we've worked and co-funded with two foundations in Greece, we've run four information invest, uh, events, uh, we have had two marathon runners already run for the benefit of Hellenic Hope. Someone asked me at Hellenic Hope, at, uh, I'm sorry, at Reload, how do you get your impact? How do you get the word around? We are shameless on knocking on people's doors. This is very important information that you have to know. Do whatever you want with it, but don't say that you didn't know about it. Where we're going. Uh, 2014 is a very important year for us. We've doubled our target to 500,000 pounds. Why? I know. Why? Not because it's doubled what we raised last year, but because we have credible projects, a pipeline of projects of at least 300,000 pounds already at the end of Q1. We are focusing more on livelihood, vocation, skills, stimuli, engagement. Do not take engagement lightly. When people, one in three children, is marginalized, engagement and stimulus is critical. I want to leave three messages with you and I'll be very short. This has been an incredible experience for us. Uh, we all, like I said, we have daily jobs and we take, I mean, this is our passion. This is not just a hobby that we have. I want to leave three messages with you on behalf of the Helen Cope team. Number one, look through a bad situation like what we have, we're experiencing in Greece today and turn it on its head. A problem embraces a thousand opportunities this is very, very important for us, and this is a unique opportunity for our generation and all the people that are present here. Number two, reach out and change what your hand can reach. We have technology. Distance is an absolute illusion. We have technology, we have information, we have initiatives starting out of the US, out of Australia, out of the UK, the impact is tangible. We at Helen Cope can tell you that the impact is tangible. In, there, there is no excuse for not getting involved. Number three, the last me message I want to uh, leave you with. Purchasing power. 300 euros can buy a full set of vaccination for a child to be able to be admitted to school. No vaccination means no admittance to school. One year out of job means out of the Greek NHS. It means people cannot afford 
to get vaccinated. Children cannot afford to get vaccinated, they cannot afford to go to school. 300 euros can buy the opportunity for a child to go to school. Number two, 1,200 euros, i.e. 1,000 pounds, can buy a family of four members food for one whole year. 1,000 can buy a family of four members food for a whole year. Let's sit down for a moment and think where we spent last 300 euros, where we spent last 1,200 euros. Thank you very much.